Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today we try to understand what is diffusion current and drift current in semiconductor devices. Starting with diffusion current, diffusion current exists in the semiconductor because of non-uniform concentration of charge carrier. This status of like non-uniform concentration of charge carriers is also called as concentration gradient. Now we try to understand how the concentration gradient will lead to diffusion current. We will see this diagram here. In this region, charge concentration is very high. Here the charge concentration is very less. So as a natural tendency and also like poles repel each other, these charge carriers which are present in heavy, heavily concentrated area wish to or tend to move towards less concentrated area. So as a part of which this movement of charges will lead to a current called as diffusion current and this this movement of charges will happen till the till the equal distribution of charges can happen like this like this diagram fine now let us observe we define diffusion current in terms of diffusion current density you people may ask like what may be the reason for current density why not a simply diffusion current it's very simple these semiconductor devices are of solid structure for the solid structure current can be taken with respect to current density not with not like a linear current so as a part of current density you can observe here jn is equal to i divided by a so jn is current danger so this n suffix n lead to electron related current density so that is given by jn is equal to e e means electron okay charge of an electron or you sometimes we we can write like q also into dn dn this capital dn leads to diffusion current uh, diffusion constant for electrons okay this small dn dn by dx lead to the distribution of electrons along x axis or the horizontal axis Coming to JP, this is a current density due to holes, which is given by minus E. E means electron, electron charge, you can say like Q also, you can say, okay. And this capital DP lead to a constant called as diffusion constant for holes. And DP by DX is the rate of change of holes with respect to horizontal axis. Now we will move to the concept called drift current. Coming to drift current, here this current exists due to the applied external supply. See, due to this voltage, this current exists and you can observe here, see this positive terminal of the battery is connected here, right? So as a part of which this, a, this uh, wire is heavily uh, positive charged and this, this wire is negative charge because it is connected to negative terminal of the battery as a part of which this negative charge or electric field will attract the holes see these holes are attracted towards negatively uh, negative terminal of the this battery related wire fine so coming to here this positive charge positive electric field will attract electrons see here so this with the electron are attracted towards that so that flow of electrons towards the left hand side and flow of holes towards the right hand side fine so this is this both the both the flow of electrons and both flow of holes will constitute a current called as drift current because it is uh, means uh, externally driven current externally driven current fine so that's what the name is drift current Coming to here, the drift current is given by equation Jn is equal to Enq, sorry, En mu p mu n into E. Small e lead to charge, okay. N lead to number of charges, okay. Mu n lead to mobility of electron and this capital N lead to applied electric field. This mu n into E is called as another term called drift velocity. Okay. 
so you can like you can write like v of d drift velocity okay mu n into d uh, e is called as drift velocity and sometimes this jn can also be given by sigma into e okay e n and mu n all these three terms are given like a conductivity into applied electric field so in a similar way the current drift current density for the holes is given like jp is equal to e p mu p into e now what is this e electron what is p number of sorry number of holes okay e is charge of an electron okay fine next mu p it is it is mobility of holes e is applied electric field once again this e p mu p will lead to a conductivity and e is applied electric field that's what j is equal to sigma into e or else you can have mu p into mu p into e as a drift velocity also okay vd okay it is just similar like a jn current drift current density due to electron and jp is drift current density due to holes now next term is like overall current due to electrons and overall current due to holes what it will be it will be the combination of current density due to holes that is diffusion current density and drift current density so that's what we can have like this so here jn is equal to it is a current density due to diffusion and drift both okay so and here the same equation what we have derived or what we have observed so that same def equation we are writing here once again okay so this is a drift current this is diffusion current okay for the electron similar way this is the equation for drift current and diffusion current with respect to holes that is jp okay the overall current overall current in the semiconductor is given by actually we are going with current density only because it is a solid structure that overall current density is given by j is equal to jn plus jp okay so this jn will be the combination of drift and diffusion related electron current density here jp is drift and diffusion related whole current density and both will constitute a overall current density for the semiconductor i hope you understood the concept thank you for your patient listening we will see in the next upcoming concept thank you have a nice day